we now come to one of our panelists, Karina from Hype Factory, who is going to be picking up her own session, superstar session indeed, widget as a performance tool, uh, which sounds absolutely fascinating. Karina, are you all ready to rock and roll? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm after, just getting through it. After a panel, yeah, you, you, you got the hard gig this morning, you did. Are it you, is very intensive morning. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you. It's well take a take a minute to breathe. Um, I think the what the panel showed was that we have such a lot of um, incredible new ways to reach an audience and to engage with an audience, and the whole growth of influencer culture has been phenomenal. You know, I come from a, a PR background, so I'm used to dealing with journalists and. Uh, it was a very, very different thing because obviously there it's it's an official employment. They have an employer. There is a publisher. There is a relationship there through advertising. So the move to influencers has been something I've watched uh, open mouthed at some points because it can be a little bit scary thinking that these are just random people off the Internet. However, uh, are we all ready to go? Are you happy yeah. to share your screen? Yeah. In that case, uh, yeah. I will step back and let you go. And uh, I'll join you at the end with some questions. Awesome. So let's start. Hello, everyone. I'm uh, really happy to be here today. And thank you for joining uh, this stream. I hope you will find uh, something interesting for yourself. And will be, I will be happy to answer uh, some questions at the end of the session. So uh, today, I would like to talk uh, to you about uh, Twitch and uh, widget as a performance tool. Let's move on. So, uh, uh, yeah, this woman in black, <laughs> It's me, my name is Karina. I'm a, a team lead at Hype Factory. I have uh, a bit more than three years of experience uh, uh, in influence marketing. Uh, and some of its part I would like to share with you today. Uh, a little bit about the agency. Uh, we work all over the world. We speak uh, 11 languages. Uh, our clients are brands uh, of various categories and backgrounds from mobile applications and uh, PC games to, uh, for example, cosmetic products and pharmaceutical campaigns. Today we use um, advanced artificial uh, machine technology that called uh, Hype Auditor tool. Uh, to select from millions of influencers and find the best fit for our clients and their goals. Uh, we work on various platforms, the main of which uh, are Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok. So this is just uh, an example of our key clients. So you can see that the, uh, there are really various of them from the different backgrounds. Uh, why brands should really think about Twitch as a possible platform for promotion? Uh, at the moment, Twitch is the main streaming platform. Uh, on the opposite side, for example, we have uh, the YouTube streaming tool that is more inconvenient and has some uh, disadvantages in comparison. The Twitch audience is very specific community and uh, they have very specific interests and lifestyle. Uh, so uh, for many users, Twitch is the main uh, entertainment platform. So if brands uh, want to attract this particular audience to their site, they better to look for their loyalty on Twitch. The main category of streams on, uh, on the platform is, uh, of course, gaming streams. But if you wish, you can find streamers of other genres and interest in, in their, for example, just uh, chatting section. Uh, yeah. 
the bulk of the audience and streamers refer to uh, refer to English speaking countries, in particular the United States. Then at the moment, uh, Germany is uh, on the second place, and approximately on the third place we have Russia, and the Russian speaking audience uh, from other countries. Uh, the main attractive side of Twitch is that uh, streaming by its own nature implies uh, active interaction with the audience online uh, without the right to make mistakes, uh, editing and other things common for many other platforms. Only uh, so we basically have only an online stream uh, with uh, the streamer skill as a speaker and the gamer and the performer and just the online chat with the constantly updated uh, comments. This uh, interaction is the exact thing that attracts brand uh, as a sponsors to the platform because it's a quite great opportunity to become part of the most native communication with the audience. Moving on, so uh, let's talk about uh, what exactly you need to plan. Uh, uh, if you would like to run a Twitch uh, ad campaign and get the most out of the budget. The first thing uh, that you should uh, uh, come up with is the analytical uh, and really think about it, where you're going to get it. It's an analytical platform or tool which will collect and analyze incoming traffic information during advertising campaign. Uh, also, in order to facilitate the selection process, you may need uh, some power of some service to collect and anal anal analyze uh, the data about streamer channels. So uh, you could quickly and efficiently analyze various categories uh, of channels for you and select the most relevant options. If you're going to start um, an advertising campaign for uh, uh, for a game that has been uh, on the market for a long time, then you will need uh, some analytics uh, of all successful and unsuccessful advertising campaigns that have been carried out in the past to take this experience into account and apply it for a new strategy. And of course, you always need to be aware of uh, all new trends and advertising opportunities on the platform that you're going to work with. Depending on what your final goals are uh, and what you expect from the results of the advertising campaign, there are two main options for your strategy: is the pure performance direction and the so-called brand performance direction. Uh, in particular, uh, to apply a pure performance strategy, you will need to evaluate key indicators, calculate all your metrics, just to make sure that they meet your uh, goals and benchmarks, uh, and of course your budget. And after that, you should work on the uh, list of potential streamers. Uh, in our case, for all advertising campaigns that we plan for our clients on Twitch, we use analytical capabilities of Hype Auditor. Uh, you can see some part of the Twitch analytical report that we use uh, as an example. So the platform is able to collect information and analyze it for any streamer. Uh, it just should not be a really small one uh, where the average use is, uh, should be more than 50 people at least. If the report has not been created before, the system will calculate, calculate it in the literal like 10 minutes. So very, very useful. Uh, another example uh, from the uh, same report, we can collect accurate data, uh, data on the age gender split of the streamer's audience. And also we know exactly in which countries uh, he or she has the most support. Uh, when all the preparation is done, you will most likely ask yourself what mechanics you need to use during your campaign. This is where uh, you could face a little problem. 
uh, when more traditional Twitch ad formats such as uh, banners, sponsored game streams becoming less effective. And what we could offer for you uh, is uh, dynamic uh, widgets as a solution. So what is this and how it works? Uh, depending on your goals and agreements with the streamers, the widget can look uh, very different from the simple to complex. Basically, uh, the first part of it is some kind of um, uh, animated counter that shows the result of uh, downloading the game during the online stream. The counter can also display more complex indicators such as the uh, level uh, that was reached by the users in the game, the number of people who spent money in the game, etc. Uh, the second part of the widget is the branded animation in the style of the game. It could be a character from the game and uh, animated logo. Or animation can appear and disappear in different places. They can, uh, there can be several widgets at the same time that shows and demonstrate different animation depending on the uh, activation uh, key. So the animation of the widget is triggered by a certain action on the tracking link that you put to their uh, online chat. This can be either the installation of the game or a number of users who passed the tutorials in the game and so on. The widget receives data from the game developer uh, tracking system and display it uh, straight online. Here you can see some examples of a widget that we have created. The, the design is developed at the request of the client and it could be simple and strict or fancy and complex. It all depends on the imagination. And of course, in the real life, uh, they move a little bit faster. <laughs> so uh, basically, the widget allows you to place, uh, as I said, the place a tracking link in the chart and uh, it will just uh, pop up uh, there constantly every three or five minutes. So the uh, audience could install your game using this tracking link. And after that, we will see all the detailed information on the widget. The widget is launched and uh, controlled through the OBS. Uh, it's like a basic app uh, for streamers. Everyone knows how to use it. Uh, with the, the help of the widget and direct interaction with the audience, the campaign performance can be improved uh, significantly. So uh, what about the performance? What do we have here? Uh, as you can see on the slide, like uh, according to our uh, experience, at least 60% of the audience will engage in the desired action. So install your game, pass the tutorials. It depends on the goal and the KPI uh, that you agree with the streamer and the streamer during the stream will tell the audience that, guys, I have this goal. We should do this, this and that. You will get some bonuses if you install the game, etc. So uh, like five for 15% uh, uh, is uh, the average install rate for Twitch campaigns with the widget. And if we compare with their uh, YouTube, it, it will be only like 0.3%. Uh, so the difference is really, really huge. Uh, let me show you just a background of a real case that we have before. Uh, it was a PC game. Uh, target audience, we had a male audience 25 plus. Uh, we worked in Italy by that time with the Italian audience. And the streamer was uh, ha had some uh, average views online from the 2 to 7k. Uh, as you can see the results, uh, it's everything on the screen. I just would like to stress out that the CTR is a 10% and CR 22% is really, really, really good. And uh, as well as ROI. So what we and the client considered as a 100% success. Uh, 
when we work with the widget, it can be considered not only as a part of the performance strategy, but also as the band format strategy. And here we get some additional bonuses as the uh, increase your brand awareness, popularization of the game, indirect efficient investments, and you will just go beyond the uh, traditional uh, marketing strategies uh, or in this campaign. And of course, when we launch a large advertising campaign, when we use the mechanic with the dynamic widget, we also could get these uh, additional bonuses, such the uh, it could come up with the funny memes in the uh, Twitch community, so they will just uh, organically spread knowledge about the project. Uh, also, the cost of the types of advertising is reduced. Uh, uh, where the project's awareness increases. And uh, also we, uh, according to our experience, up to 60% of old users could return to the game when they uh, became a part of these uh, streams with the dynamic widgets. So, and of course, like the more often streamers mentioned your product is the higher piece in the Twitch trends. Um, this is basically that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. So if you have uh, some questions about the widget, how it's worked, because it was like a really, really basic information. It has very deep background and the technology besides it. So if you have, Something additional to ask, I will be glad. Hi, Karina. <laughs> that, was, that was fantastic. Take a minute, have a deep breath, <laughs> relax. We have we have quite a lot of questions coming through from the audience. So so we're all good. And we've got 10 minutes um, to, to answer them. And um, first of all, thank you. It's, uh, it's no mean feat moving from a panel into a, a presentation. So uh, very well done. Um, Again, some really, really interesting um, information coming through and what a great tool, uh, you know, what an incredible way to, to help people understand this whole new um, opportunity to reach and engage with an audience. So if it's OK, uh, we have some uh, we have some really good questions coming through from the audience. Uh, so first of all, uh, one of our um, anonymous attendees said, is this tool also useful for brands and marketing agencies looking to access the games market? Uh, sorry, could you repeat? Yeah, is this tool also useful for brands and marketing agencies trying to access the games market? For brands, do you mean like the uh, gaming brands or are we talking about the offline brands such as, I don't know, fashion I'm whatsoever? Yeah, well, I'm guessing it's they're, they're asking if, mm -hmm. if this has application beyond games into um, some of the other um, sectors that are now trying to engage with the gaming audience. Uh, I got it. Okay. So uh, the main traffic on the Twitch, uh, it's not a secret, it's a PC, true mm -hmm. PC traffic. So there are a lot of PC users there. And uh, for example, if uh, you have a mobile game, I would say we could try uh, to do and to uh, run this campaign with the widget because we have some kind of solution that could help to improve uh, the results after, uh, such as, for example, our QR codes on the screen and we definitely could like run a small test and you definitely should try to run a small test on Twitch and just see, do you actually have the audience there and will this technology help you? Uh, as for the brands, for example, for example, if we have, I don't know, a tea brand, for example, yeah. and you want to be uh, uh, and want to advertise your products on Twitch, uh, like for the gamers, I don't know, specific tea for the gamers, something like that. So we definitely could create and design for you uh, the widget that will uh, either just automatically pop up all the time. It could be a fancy cup of tea that dancing or singing around uh, every five minutes or we could add some kind of a, a tracking link to the chat and mm -hmm. for example it, it the widget could be activated every time when uh, someone uh, click on it or if we create a specific landing 
uh, uh, for the brand. For example, when you click on the link, you open mm -hmm. kind of a casual uh, puzzle game, for example. And when you finish this game, the widget will be activated and the fancy cup of the tea will just dance around the, uh, uh, the screen. So it's actually possible if uh, you would like to test something like this, it could be a really good solution instead of, uh, I don't know, a specific uh, merch or t-shirts that you can send to the uh, streamer. So you can definitely try to use this online widget. Why not? That's great. That's great to know, because obviously this is this is a market that's expanding all the time. Uh, we've, we've got quite a, a technical question. Um, can the legit, uh, can the legit, can the widget link directly into a game and rewards gamers clicking through or installing with in-game currency, for example. So how, how deep can the links go? Uh, it depends on the game developer. So usually we got uh, and we ask for it because it will uh, really help for uh, to increase the installs and the ROI. So it will be a basically a deep link with some uh, certain bonuses there. So the streamer will tell the audience, guys, just download the game and you will get this, this, and this, and this exclusively mm -hmm. for me and from the game developers. So just go straight there and yes, sure, this special link when you download the game, you open it and you see there are uh, uh, some bonuses that were, was shared with you. Fantastic. So it, it's, it's definitely just, uh, it's up to a game developer. So it's on their side. Absolutely. So if they have a technical solution for this, most of them have. It's, it's mm -hmm. not a problem. It's just uh, uh, how it usually works. So, yeah. Wonderful. Thank you very much. And, and next question is, do you see vastly different click-through rates between PC and mobile games? Uh, it also depends on the um, tracking system. So mm -hmm. this tracking link is uh, given to us by the game developers and usually more oftenly, they have a special tracking system where they can see uh, how many clicks they have, mm -hmm. installs, who did these installs, emails, uh, from what country, was it or PC or mobile trafficking? It really depends on the, is it a smart link or uh, whatsoever? So everything could be uh, uh, part of the uh, analytical system. And after that, we can, could just uh, analyze all of this data and um, trying to find uh, out some better solution for the future mm -hmm. campaigns or whatsoever. So it's definitely possible. <laughs> yeah, but very much on a case by case basis. Um, that makes so much sense. Um, so I'm, I'm going to move swiftly on, but these are these are great questions. Um, and while we've got you, let's make use of use of them. Uh, have there been any stream genres which have been particularly successful in terms of brand partnerships? Uh, there are, have been a lot of uh, there's a lot of popularity recently around gambling streams. So is it a game specific or are you starting to move more broadly into? It depends on the uh, game we're going to promote. Yeah. So every uh, every game has a certain target audience uh, and uh, most of the clients know where the audience, where we can find the audience they're interested in. So for example, mm -hmm. if you have a true PC game for a male audience 25 plus, uh, it definitely will be a, any kind of shooters, uh, mm -hmm. uh, some very smart or strategical fantasy games or something like this. Uh, so it's honestly, it really depends on the product we're going to promote. Yeah, yeah. I, again, I think that that makes an awful lot of sense. Um, and, and one of our audience is asking, can you give any other big success stories of using widgets where they performed above expectations? You maybe don't have to name names, but maybe genres would be uh, useful. Uh, we are working like nonstop with the uh, several uh, gaming clients mm -hmm. on Twitch. And I would say that if not every campaign is successful, but at least we're always going on that line that could mm -hmm. be considered as the, that we get some profit for them. Uh, especially if we start with the, uh, 
some new game or if we come up with a really creative mechanic because besides the fact that you use this uh, uh dynamic widget there are a lot of other different things that you could do during this stream uh such as uh i don't know for example uh giveaways or what's uh, mm -hmm. so that could improve your uh, performance at the end of the day that makes a great deal of sense I, I, an awful lot of sense um here's here's a, a really good one on a corporate level does hype factory offer design and consultancy to help developers and publishers create effective campaigns uh if i understand correctly the question uh so that yeah, so so can can you help game creators um build an effective campaign Oh so, yes, of course. This is our yeah, job. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. This is this is our job. We're influence marketing agency. So you, uh, as a client, could come to us. We mm -hmm. will discuss uh, what what was your successful case, what was your unsuccessful case, and mm -hmm. we'll help you to come up with a new strategy. Uh, if you would like to work on Twitch or mm -hmm. any other platform, not a problem. Any uh country on this planet so yeah oh fantastic Th this is our job this is what we do on the daily basis <laughs> yeah 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 it's just a lot of developers are so focused on on the core game you know the mechanics the gameplay yeah, and sure. testing that they're not necessarily experts when it comes to to marketing uh, uh, and engagement yeah. i just have to say that we have a lot of experience on the uh gaming promotion this is uh the uh, one of the biggest part of our uh, daily work, besides the other brands like the gaming uh, industry is something that we uh, do uh, every day and something that we know how to do. Wonderful, fantastic. And last question, and then we'll let you go to relax and try and <laughs> enjoy the rest of your day so is there any way to quantify the way memes promote and reinforce your game are there tools available to track the way your product is mentioned so I, i'm guessing that means yep there's, yep. there's yep. a way to track it uh as i mentioned in my presentation we are working with this uh platform tool hypoditor uh so it has uh analytical uh, data about Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, uh, and Twitch, of course, as well. In the future, it will be uh, Facebook and Twitter, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, we have uh, some tools that will help us to uh, create a report about the hashtags, for example, or a text that were used on this platform. So we could get the whole list during the certain period and just see all of the mentions. And after that, we could create an analytical report for you uh, with all of this data. It, it, it's actually very easy and very fast. That's wonderful, fantastic. Well, sadly, Karina, or maybe thankfully, we're out of time. Um, well done that, that has been a really, <laughs> really busy morning for you uh what a huge amount of information out there and uh, you know the audience are, is absolutely buzzing the questions coming through show that you've really sparked a lot of interest so thank you again for joining us this morning we look forward thank to you very much you back to a, a steel media event at some point in the near future maybe even in real life but uh, thank you so much and, and well done again for this morning that's not yeah. an easy not an easy thing to do. So thank you. Go and relax. Thank you. We're going to move on.